The volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times height. What a mouthful. What a, not the easiest thing to memorize. I don't want you to memorize it. I want to explain it to you in a way where it just makes sense. What's a cylinder? A cylinder is like a circle that's been like pulled into the third dimension. And all you got to do is take the area of that circle and multiply it by the height. You know how to find the area of a circle? Pi r squared. You get a circle with the radius of 3. The area would be pi r squared. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 pi. Let's take this circle here and turn it into a cylinder. So we pull it into the third dimension. And let's say it's uh, 4 tall. That's how much into the third dimension it is. So we, uh, we got to find the volume of it. Well, we take that area of the circle, which we already know is 9 pi, we just multiply it by the height, which would be 4. So 9 pi times 4 would be uh, 36 pi. That's how you find the volume of a cylinder. Let me give you one more example. Let's say we had a circle with a radius of 5. What would the area be? Well, it would be 25 pi, because it's pi r squared. Now let's take that circle and turn it into a cylinder. We pull it into the third dimension. Let's say it's uh, two tall into the, the third dimension. Two into the third dimension. What would the volume of this cylinder be? Well, you take that area we already found, 25 pi, and multiply it by however tall it is. And if it's two, well, we do 25 pi times two, 50 pi. Volume of this cylinder is 50 pi. That's how you find the volume of a cylinder.